So with the polls opening in less than nine hours, the Kansas governor's race once again heating up as the president throws his support behind one candidate. Today, President Trump endorsed Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, who is believed to be Governor Collier's toughest competition. But while Kobach expects it to boost his campaign, the president's move can also be risky. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Errol Rothfield explains its possible impact on the election. With less than 24 hours until the polls close, President Donald Trump is weighing in on the Kansas gubernatorial race, tweeting his support for Secretary of State Chris Kobach, calling him a fantastic guy, offering his total and full endorsement. Very pleased. It's going to be a huge boost to our campaign. And a risky one, too, according to Matthew Harris of Park University. President Trump is, is breaking from what a lot of Republican governors wanted and what some of his own advisors wanted because He's endorsing a candidate who's perceived as um, as somebody who may fare poorer in the general election. Kobach is running against six other candidates, including sitting Republican Governor Jeff Collier, who on Monday downplayed the endorsement. I have a good relationship with, with the president. Focusing on his meet and greets in Johnson County instead. The endorsement I'm really most interested in is the endorsement of Kansans. Collier has been endorsed by former Kansas Senator Bob Dole, who also tweeted about the election hours after the president, writing Collier doesn't just talk, he delivers. The role of an endorsement this close to the election could be small but significant given how close uh, given how close the race is especially among Republicans who still do not know who they're going to vote for polls indicate that number is around 11 percent among that group of voters a signal like an endorsement could be important as of this morning, the Secretary of State's office says 82,360 Republicans have either voted in person or mailed in their ballots. This is compared to 52,795 Democrats. A reminder, polls in Kansas open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m.